everybody i hope you enjoyed that intro um i was really inspired to create kind of like a planner themed intro um so i hope you enjoyed it and sorry about the lighting there's like some sunlight so as you can see there's like shadow on my um hands <laughs> but basically um i guess the long story short uh, if you didn't know already, I do have a, I've been very involved with the planner community and journaling and stationery and all things basically paper, planning, stickers, what have you. So yeah, I do have another channel which is uh, Peachy Green Paper and that is based off of my Etsy shop and I also have a uh, planner focused Instagram which is at peachy green paper and I'll put all the links down below but that will also be um, that's kind of my main um, sticker channel because I had previously posted videos on this channel but I kind of wanted to um, have a more focused dedicated channel to just all things pl planner stuff However, I feel like it is kind of appropriate just to post some um, videos on this channel just talking about um, planner overall or just kind of very basic overviews of planners and things. So I wanted to just kind of have this video and I think I'm thinking of having future videos where it's just kind of overviews like what planners I use or how I stay organized. Um, things like that and then the ones uh, all the videos on my other channel peachy green paper is gonna be more specific like plan with me's um, more sp deep dive planner related videos things like that so leave down in the comments how you feel about that and if that sounds good to you um, but this um, I guess just this is kind of a sneak peek is that I have this Erin Condren planner that I'm using as well as this Kate Spade personal size planner that I'm using as well and this is rose gold. I don't know if you see a common theme here but um, so this is Erin Condren um, just neutral planner so this is what it looks like on the inside. So this is kind of what my overview um, planner is. I did film a few plan with me's um, just for January. My goal is to actually complete from start to finish this this planner. So I did do a January spread as you can see. And then I did do a January um, monthly spread as well. And then here, I guess I'll just go over what my layout stuff is. I do have some skinny washi, and these are so, so pretty. Um, peach and pink and black skinny washi. And then I also have this um, calligraphy pen. I've gone into journaling and lettering, so I've been getting really into that. This is my Kate Spade personal planner. Uh, I still need to put it together <laughs> because it's still kind of a mess right now, but this is what it looks like on the inside and I have a bunch of random inserts. And then this pen is from Planner Society and it's just like a, a, a gems, um, what are those called again? Planner gems um, pen. And then these papers are also from Planner Society, which I am actually no longer subscribed to that. Um, or at least I put a pause to it just because I haven't had much time. But this is another, um, these are just some really pretty papers and they're double-sided as well. And the back, isn't that so pretty also? also. And finally, we are getting to the star of the show. And this is the 2018 Artist of Life workbook. So this video, that's what this video is gonna be about. I'm really excited that I purchased this Artists of Life workbook and just to kind of give in short, um, there is a YouTube channel and podcast uh, called Lavender and it is actually a, um, the creator and owner of that YouTube channel is actually one of my friends from college um, so I am really excited to support her and I've always been a really big fan of all her videos and podcasts and her blog as well. Um, it's really awesome. Her name is Eileen and um, again like her channel name is Lavender. Basically her branding is all called Lavender and um, it's very like lifestyle focused and <clears throat> she's very strong uh, believer that you know we are artists of our own lives and life is our masterpiece so make your life your masterpiece which i absolutely love i think that's so inspiring and so true um i love that about um about her branding and just 
it's just very inspiring and motivating so she did come out with the artists of life workbook and she, i think she had one last year also but i didn't know about the one last year or i didn't buy it um but i did want to buy this one just because i was so inspired by it um so i just wanted to do an overview so this is how it looks it is a hardbound planner and it is so so like this it's really good quality and it's just so soft like this when i first got it i didn't expect this outside um I guess like leather kind type of feel uh, cover to be so soft and so smooth and I absolutely love it. It's like literally, it's like almost squishy if you want to <laughs> say that, but um, it's so beautiful with the um, this pink kind of blush, millennial blush I guess you could say is the color of this and then the gold foiling Artist of Life workbook. Um, so yeah, so I'm just going to do an overview of this. You can purchase this on her website, lavender.com. Um, I will leave links for that down below as well. Uh, so I'm just going to do an overview of what it looks like. So the pages are really beautiful as well. This is kind of um, a page about her. Here's all her like links and social medias and things like that. Um, she has like this beautiful quote. There's a table of contents here. And then there's just kind of like a welcome, uh, some welcome text. Um, just a little bit. You can read these. These are also on the website when you purchase the book. Um, so there's also these um, just kind of intro introductions into the workbook. Also, another thing to note is that Eileen also has a community for um, other, like, I guess, other artists of life, and it is called Mastermind, and you can also purchase that. That's kind of like a subscription to a Facebook community, and there you can speak with other um, people and kind of uh, be inspired, uh, give share advice, share tips and tricks, and, like, you know, favorite um, blogs, favorite books, like, everything, like, whatever you can imagine about this type of, um, about this subject, essentially, so... Yeah, so moving on, um, there's also, I really like this um, Goodbye 2017 where you can kind of reflect on your past year. And I really like that these are year specific. So like 2018, like I'm going to be using it for 2018. I'm not going to get confused with any other years or anything. Um, and it's kind of more motivational for me to just absolutely, I have to use it. Like this book almost, like you could almost say it has an expiry date because it, because it's only 2018. Like, I can't use it next year um, in 2019. So, yeah, so 2017, just some prompts about your reflection for 2017. And then, hello 2018, of course, you're going to start talking about um, it's very specific prompts, which is what I love. And I feel like that's what sets this type of goal setting journal apart from other goal setting journals is a lot of other goal setting or self help workbooks slash journals are very like, Oh, what are your goals for the, for 2018? And that's it. Like you just kind of have to think of it on your own. Versus this one, it's very specific. Like, how do I want to feel? Um, what will I let go from? Uh, what will I let go of? Like things like that, which I absolutely love. And um, yeah, and also another thing about this book uh, is that Eileen actually it's based off of things that she has used herself in the past years and it's based off of things that she kind of knows works or has worked for her so of course if this doesn't work for you then you know it doesn't work for you um, and I don't expect it to everything to absolutely work for me either uh, it's really just for my own um, experience to see to kind of figure out or just kind of learn about someone else's way or another like guideline or another way to learn about um, ways to set goals and kind of mold my life and my plans into my own. So yeah. And then here is um, just a little bit more about vision boards. Um, she inspires us to create a vision board. And then here is current me versus future me, which is awesome. So I've never done an exercise like this before. Um, basically, you draw your current me and then where you want to be like future me. So I think that's really great. Um, 2018 goals AF, which I love that title. So, so nice. Um, it's so like uh, trendy on trend. But basically, this is kind of where, you know, the goals kind of is um, going to be about. And it's like a main goal um, and then specifics broken down. So health goals, relationship goals, career goals. And again, like, yes, these are um, goals, overall goals, but it's broken down into more specific like prompts, which is really, really great and just different from so many other goal setting books, like I mentioned before. Personal growth goals, creative goals spiritual goals, home goals, 
money goals, adventure goals, ultimate life goals, which is awesome. It's kind of like where you see yourself in 10 years type of thing or ultimately what do you want to achieve in your life. And then here now it's like kind of a broken down like, yay, you've, uh, woohoo, you've gotten clear about your goals, but if you really, really want to make your goals come true, you really have to write down more um more things so it gives you some tips on what else to do or what to do next um a section about self-love which is great i really like that because it's like you can't love others until you love yourself which i really strongly believe in so my power mantra is great 10 things i love about myself it's i love that this really gives you the self-confidence that um you know that you may not may or may not have um really great or even if you are um pretty confident you know just kind of understanding yourself more i think that's really great my self-care routine um again detailed prompts designing my habits so your habits um habit tracker bucket list i think this is really great uh this is a hundred uh item bucket list and things you want to do before 2019 my ideal world and then that's good and it says congratulations you did it you took steps for your to plan out your dream life so the next thing um i think this is really great so this is kind of where it starts getting into more resources um so this is a bunch of books that um i guess eileen has um recommended top books to read in 2018 and then this is just more about social stuff. Oh yeah, she talks about mastermind here. So it's basically uh, want more motivation, accountability, and support. Connect with other workbookers in our mastermind group. So it's just a lot of, yeah, like a community of like-minded people that can inspire and help each other out, which is great. So now this section, I guess, it looks like a goal book. Um, so I think this is more uh, broken down by quarters, which I think is really cool. So it's kind of like, what do I do with my goals? Where do I take those goals next? Um, so Q1 focus, Q1 goals, Q1 projects, next action steps. So this is really how you're gonna achieve those goals, which is really great. Um, January, I love that it's broken out by months as well. January goals, January review. February goals, February review. So honestly, this book does not require at all, um, you know, a ton, a ton, a ton of commitment. It's not a daily journaling thing and it's not like a daily thing where you really, I mean, you are welcome to look at it every day if you would like and work on it every day. But definitely it's, it's very practical for, you know, busy people. If you have work, your school, um, it's, you know, you can just look at it. It even says in the beginning, um, all it re is required is, you know, a month once a month that's really you know all <laughs> needs to be done so march goals march review quarterly review and it, there you don't do this in any order you just kind of go to each of the sections one which actually one thing i must say is that i think um it would be great if there were two so there is a ribbon bookmark um i think it would be awesome if there were maybe three of these i know for those lusha terms um, I don't know if I'm saying that right, but those bullet journals, um, they come with like three ribbons so you can bookmark different sections. I think it would be really great if next year's book came with like multiple ribbons just so you can, um, you, you know, you can mark one in Q2 and then put one in like back into your other goals or um, something else that you want to look at as well or just bookmark. So half year review which is really great um, and then on to q3 so these pages i'm just going to skip through because these are all the same that we just i just showed you earlier with next action steps and then after december we finally make it to year end review and this kind of just celebrates um everything that you have done this past year and then this last section or this next section is going to be next action steps um so i think this is just more ways that you can achieve goals or more ways that you want to track the next steps for things you want to achieve and this is kind of the end this is the end of the book um basically because like i would say um half of the book is goals and kind of this workbook and then the other half is just um empty blank pages so there's a bunch of lined sections and there's a bunch of just blank sections and i think this is really great for people who just kind of want a all in one book for me personally i do have other planners and other journals that i like to use so i probably won't be using this section too much other than maybe just brainstorming some things um, related to the workbook but i think it's really great for people who ha are not that into journaling or not that big into having multiple journals and multiple books
So this is also great that Eileen put a bunch of ideas for these pages and journaling prompts, which is really great. So like daily gratitude journal, morning pages, dream journal, um, doodling, taking notes, mini vision board. I will probably use it as a mini vision board, actually. And for doodling and practicing calligraphy with my, with my pens and stuff like that. And then also some journaling prompts, which is really great. Um, I really like that as well. So that is the end of the book, and that is the overview. So again, if you enjoyed um, this book and you want to buy one for yourself, I will link it all down below. And there's also a PDF version as well if you would like to purchase that. And, um, you know, please let me know if you want to see any other videos about um, planners or journaling or anything like that. And thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time and have a wonderful new year and I wish you all the best 2018. Bye!